Good evening everyone. Welcome to a brand new episode of BMC Global Live Al Hilal Health World Nothing But Lifestyle. I am Anupama Menon. Wishing all the viewers a very happy new year. We have stepped into 2023. It is a fresh start. A great opportunity to make a promise to ourselves that we will make our health a priority. The greatest gift that you can give yourself and your family is a perfectly healthy you. In this talk show health world, we have expert doctors from various fields providing guidance and valuable information to assist you all on your journey towards good health. So wishing you all lots of happiness and good health in 2023. Today we are happy to have with us Dr. Sarita, General Dentist from Al Hilal Hospital, Moharak. She comes with a wealth of experience, over 15 years of experience in India, Saudi Arabia and Bahrain. And today, the topic of discussion is healthy gums and teeth for good oral health. So, Doctor, welcome to the show and thank you for joining us. Thanks, Anna. So, before we begin off, can, for the benefit of our viewers, can you please throw light on this topic, you know, um, about oral health and healthy gums? If you could just explain to the viewers what exactly it's all about. Oral health is not uh, just an attractive or beautiful smile. So, good oral health is important for the uh, healthy teeth gums and overall well-being. It will also help to uh, prevent uh, tooth decay, gum diseases, bad breath and many other dental problems. So what exactly is bleeding gums? Because a lot of us face this problem, you know, when we brush our teeth, we can see a little bit of blood when we spit it out. So is this the same as bleeding gums? Can you please elaborate on this one? Uh, see, healthy gums don't bleed. So if you see uh, blood when you brush, that could be an early sign of gingivitis. Okay, so bleeding gums is called gingivitis yes, in medical bleeding terms. bleeding gums is also known as gingivitis. Okay. It is caused by the buildup of the plaque, a thin flame of bacteria at your gum level. So this bacteria is not removed, uh, like this will lead to red, uh, swollen or uh, inflamed gums. And uh, initially for many people, this will, they will not feel any symptoms. Spitting blood when you brush, uh, that is an early sign. So, if you notice uh, any uh, redness or uh, swelling or anything, this can be treated with uh, early, if you detected this early means, uh, we can treat it with uh, deep cleaning and in some cases we do the gum surgeries and uh, bone graft. So, it requires medical attention. If you yes. see gum bleeding for a long period of time, this could lead to further gum diseases and Yes, yes. if it is not treated, this will lead to uh, gum disease. Uh, eventually tooth loss also may happen. So bleeding gums, uh, this happens only while brushing the teeth or uh, could it happen randomly also? Can bleeding occur from the gums, you know, even when you have not put any pressure, even when you are not brushing, is that normally seen? So in early uh, gingivitis, uh, usually you may notice like uh, bleeding uh, when you brush and in later stages, uh, sometimes even without brushing also, you may notice the bleeding. From okay, the gums. So it can occur. Yes. yes. And uh, you spoke that if it's left untreated, it could lead to gum diseases. So what are the various gum diseases uh, that are there? Actually, when gingivitis, uh, if it is untreated, it will develop into periodontitis. It's called gum disease. It is a serious gum infection uh, that will affect the soft tissues and uh, bones that supports the teeth. Um, if it is not treated, that eventually you may uh, your tooth may lose. You may feel loosening of the teeth. Uh, so, gum disease, what you are saying is, can actually lead to loss of uh, teeth as well. So, it should be taken very seriously, I guess, yes. by everybody. Because normally, when we talk about oral health, we tend to focus more on car caries and cavities. So, I guess, gum health is equally important. Uh, so, doctor, what are the symptoms of gum disease? How would a patient know that he or she is suffering from a gum disease? Uh, other than minor bleeding because normally we tend to ignore it this d does happen quite a few times you know while we are brushing we feel maybe we have put some extra pressure and that's why it's uh, bleeding so what are the red flags to look out for like uh, symptoms we usually uh, you may notice uh, initially redness uh, painful and swollen gums then of course gum that bleed during and after brushing uh, you may feel uh, receding uh, gums and uh, sensitive teeth, uh, painful teeth, uh, like pain when, uh, when you are chewing. Uh, these are the common symptoms uh, uh, so people may experience. receding gums uh, you feel would be visible, right? Uh, yes, yes. When you look at the teeth, you can make out that the Yes, if you have receding, receding gums, you may experience uh, sensitive teeth. Okay. And uh, tooth loss. 
and the main thing is formation of the pockets that is the space between the uh, gums and the teeth. Okay. So, there could be uh, bacteria deposits yes, there. Yes, bacteria deposits and it will lead to uh, periodontitis. So, what are the risk factors for uh, gum diseases? Yeah, there are many risk factors. Uh, uh, main thing is the smoking, uh, poor oral hygiene, uh, diabetes, and then uh, taking some kind of medications that will lead to uh, dry mouth and hormonal imbalance. Um, if you have any uh, malaline teeth or uh, defective filling, this will also uh, associate like it will increase the risk of periodontitis. Okay, so smoking is one of the main smoking is one of the main causes factors. for the. So, doctor, does a uh, bad breath occur because of uh, gum diseases? Because a lot of people face this issue of uh, bad breath. So, how do we tackle that? Is there any connection between gum diseases and bad breath? Uh, bad breath is also known as a halitosis. We all get it from time to time. So, the main causes are like uh, tooth decay or uh, food trapped between your teeth and uh, dry mouth and uh, uh, heavy coating on the tongue. Uh, these are the main causes actually. Then uh, other uh, medical conditions such as uh, gastritis, oral and throat infection and if you have oral ulcers, this also lead to uh, bad breath. Doctor, could you please talk a little bit about uh, tooth decay because I am sure a lot of our viewers would like to know about that, you know, what are the various aspects of tooth decay, how we can prevent that, if you could just throw some light on that, that topic. Uh, tooth decay happens uh, when uh, bacteria it, it will form a sticky layer over the teeth called plaque. Over the period, it will uh, destroy the outer surface of the enamel. And uh, initially, if you initially in early tooth decay, you may not uh, experience any uh, symptoms. But once the decay goes deeper, you may feel a uh, hole in the teeth, that is a cavity. And you may experience um, uh, sensitivity when you drink uh, cold or hot. Very hot or, or cold. Yes, hot, uh, cold or hot. Then. Um, like a pain. So, uh, the treatment depending on the severity of the tooth decay. If it is an early uh, decay, we can we do the fillings. Uh, once the decay goes deeper, you, uh, you will get pain, pain or sometimes uh, inflammation, swelling or uh, abscess. In such condition, uh, we advise to do the root canal treatment uh, to save the teeth or remove the teeth. So, I think that is why it is very important to pay regular visits to the dentist, you know, if whether you are facing problems or not, it is always I think advisable to get just get a checkup done, so that if there is any cavity forming, you can treat it rather than going for the root canal at the onset itself. Yes. So, uh, how often would you suggest uh, if once in 6 months or every yes. year? Yes, every 6 months we used to advise the patient to visit a dentist, so that uh, if anything is there, uh, you can detect early and you can do the treatment. Maintaining good oral hygiene is the most important thing that we can uh, do it for your uh, gum and the teeth. So, many people have this uh, problem of uh, missing teeth, so how is that treated? Is there Are there any treatment options available for that? Uh, missing teeth uh, certainly it will affect your uh, appearance Overall and appearance, smile yes. and uh, chewing and uh, mainly it will affect speech also. So, treatment options are uh, various treatment options are available. The most uh, common treatment option is the dental implant. Implant is the most common way uh, to replace the missing teeth. Uh, it is a, a small uh, titanium screw that we surgically place inside the jawbone um, and uh, over the implant we put a crown. And uh, next is the uh, dental bridges. Uh, this is also again a permanent way to replace the missing teeth. So, we take support from the adjacent teeth and uh, we do the dental bridges. And next uh, treatment is the removable partial dentures. So, removable means uh, this, this uh, removable partial denture we can do if people are uh, having mis uh, single, multiple or uh, even uh, total tooth loss, we can do the removable partial denture. Uh, this is the most affordable way, uh, treatment uh, for the missing teeth. The removable ones are the this affordable are the ones. the most affordable one for the uh, missing teeth. But treatment. patients can also go for permanent, permanent tooth, tooth implants. Yes, so, there is yes. no hassle of removing it and putting it on yes, again. Yes, it will be yes, there forever. Yes, fixed beans and no need to remove it actually. Okay. Doctor, before we wrap up, uh, any takeaway message for our viewers? Any tips that you would like to share with our viewers to maintain good oral health and hygiene? 
pressure teeth uh, twice a day using fluorinated toothpaste and uh, a soft bristle uh, toothbrush and try to uh, change your to uh, toothbrush every three months or once the bristles are frayed. Flossing helps to remove the food particles uh, that left uh, behind the teeth uh, even after the brushing. Then uh, clean your tongue with a tongue scraper uh, that will also lead to uh, bad breath. Uh, you can use mouth washers and uh, uh, try to avoid carbonated beverages and uh, more amount of caffeine that will lead to staining of the teeth and uh, as well as it will uh, cause erosion of the enamel. Then using tobacco products uh, that will not only uh, harmful for the lungs, it is uh, four times greater the risk of having um, uh, oral and throat cancers. And try to include more um, salads and uh, fibrous food, crunchy fruits or uh, low fat uh, dairy products. Then uh, try to avoid stress because being stressed uh, will release the stress hormone uh, that will uh, causes inflammation throughout the body as well as the gums. So okay. thank you so much doctor for those very useful tips. I'm sure the viewers will find them very uh, useful and handy. Thank you for taking the time out to be with us today. Thank you. So friends, a smile is the most inexpensive and the best accessory that you can wear. So please do take care of your oral health and oral hygiene. Gum diseases are not meant to be taken lightly. Please do pay attention to bleeding gums and visit a doctor if you feel that there are red flags and symptoms. Wishing you all once again a very happy new year. May 2023 bring lots of happiness and good health to all of you. Till we meet again next time, this is Anupama signing off. Good night and stay safe.